story, there's now a sequel, Rudy 2. I always dreamt about that moment. What would it be like? Just one time, if I can run through that tunnel, put on that uniform, just so I can say it, I played for Notre Dame. Matt Sarb wasn't even alive that day in 1975 when Rudy sacked Georgia Tech's quarterback as time expired, but his father remembers. The stands were chanting Rudy, and when we saw him go on the field, everybody was just, you know, he's finally gotten in. And to see him carried off the field was just like, you know, he, he had fulfilled his dream. 25 winners have passed in South Bend since that inspiring moment, but Rudy's spirit has been rekindled by a junior walk-on from Chicago. The biggest motivation in my life is people that tell me that I couldn't do something. I have told everybody since I was little that I was gonna play here, and no one believed me. In fact, when he was in second grade, he came home from school crying and had gotten a couple of Bs on his report card. And Linda asked him, what were you crying about? And he said, well, now I'm not gonna be able to go to Notre Dame because I got Bs on my report card. Wearing Rudy's old number, Matt finally got on the field in this his junior year, and he's become a fixture on kickoff coverage. And I admit the coaches didn't know a lot about him, but I promise you, after he ran down on that first kickoff, everyone knows who number 45 is, and what he brings is an unbelievable passion for the game. Uh, I think that passion's intensified because of his unique story of his father playing football at Notre Dame. To be able to accomplish what my father did, he's been a very integral part of my life. You see, there was a reason why Pat Sarb watched from the stands that day long ago. He volunteered to sit out so Rudy might have his moment of glory. There were seniors, four seniors who went in and said, let some of these seniors dress because we're not, it doesn't matter whether we play or not, these guys work, they deserve a chance too. For guys to have participated, some of them four years, on the team as walk-ons and not be able to dress for a single game would have been a, a real injustice. Matt Sarb is getting back something great what his dad gave years ago. That something was a chance. And while the father's deed was little known and less remembered, it forever lives in the son's heart. As a freshman, Matt gave his dad a book about this place he so cherishes. His inscription says it all. You fulfilled your dream of playing football for Notre Dame. Now, 26 years later, I am carrying on the tradition and continuing your dream, which has always been mine. Soon, I hope to fulfill my dream by actually playing in this amazing stadium. It would mean the world to me to have you there on that day. Love, Matthew. And that part of the dream has been fulfilled.